طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا بكم من جديد في الدرس الخامس من المنح درسنا اليوم هو المعرفة والنكرة يعني definite and indefinite let's start with النكرة يعني indefinite ما لا يدل على معين من أفراد جنسه what does not denote anything specific of its species or genre or type Look at these examples we have. امرأة, a woman. رجل, a man. قلم, a pen. مدينة, a city. وأسرة, for family. Notice that they all are ending in a tanween sound. un at the end. المعرفة, the definite, ما دل على معين من أفراد جنسه. It's what denotes a specific member of its type, genre, or species. And there are different categories of what we consider to be definite in Arabic. So look at them with me. Adhamayu, pronouns. A pronoun like ana, I for example, or kitabi, if you notice the ya that's being attached at the end of kitab, meaning my book. It makes those words definite. Al-alamu, yani proper names of people and places are also considered definite. Fatima tu, or George, aydan min al asma al muarraf. Ismu al isharati. These are demonstrative pronouns, and they're considered in Arabic to be definite as well. For example, hada for this masculine singular, and tilka for that feminine singular. Al ismu al mausulu. These are the relative pronouns. For example, al ladi al lati meaning who or that or which. These are also considered to be definite. Al-ma'arrafu bil-alif wal That which is preceded by alif and lam, and we could distinguish it clearly as definite. Al-ustadhatu. So by having the alif lam in the beginning, it makes it definite. Al-madinatu. Notice it's no longer having the tanween at the end. It's having only one vowel. Al-mudafu ila ma'arifatin. Sometimes you can combine nouns in Arabic in an idafa form, meaning X of Y. Now, if you put kitabu talibi, even though the word kitab doesn't have alif lam, a talibi, which is part of the structure, makes it definite. Another example is saful arabiyati. And literally, you're saying the class of Arabic. So even though the word class doesn't have alif lam, al arabiyati makes it definite. Now the last category is nakiratun nida. You do not have an alif lam after you call somebody by using the ya. The ya in Arabic is a vocative device with which we call people or we address them. So you say ya tullabu, ya rajulu. Now, let's look at some of these words and look how, you know, it is treated also in definiteness. And make a distinction between these examples here. Kitabun is indefinite, a book. Al-kitabu has alif lam, that's the book. And al-kutubu now is books. It doesn't have the the in front of it in English, but in Arabic, because it is jins al it describes the group or a general concept, we use alif lam with it. We do not leave it without a pronoun in the beginning. Look at, look at the examples that we have here. Aqra'ul kutuba, meaning I read books. Look at these other examples. Amthilatun ukhra, al adabu, literature, al tarikhu, history. Al-Akl, food, as politics, as samaku fish, wal sciences. In all of these cases, Arabic uses alif lam when English does not. al wa fil ism wa sifa So let's take a look now at the definiteness and indefiniteness with nouns and adjectives. Look at the first two examples. as at As we said, Noun and adjective are agreeing in definiteness now, and it is a phrase. It's saying the long class. 
Whereas Safun Tawilun is indefinite and it's saying a long class. In both of these cases, we're not making a full sentence. We are in the phrase. If you make them disagree, a Safu definite and Tawilun indefinite, it becomes a sentence. The class is long. شكرا جزيلا على انتباهكم وأراكم إن شاء الله في الدرس القادم